Did you know seniors who can walk three miles per hour are happier, more independent, and live much longer than their slower peers? A University of Pittsburgh study found that people in their 70s with a usual walking speed of three miles per hour live about five years longer than people who walk two miles per hour. Three miles per hour is the pace needed to match the average walking speed and to cross the street with time to spare at a traffic light. The faster your usual walking pace, the less likely you are to fall and get injured. A Canadian study found that if you're fit enough to walk three miles per hour for six minutes, you're much less likely to depend on help from others for your daily needs. Three miles per hour is a proven long-term baseline standard for a healthy, independent lifestyle. Can you maintain a brisk walking pace? Check with your doctor before exercise testing and have a friend nearby for help if needed. Safety is always first. You can test your six minute walking speed with a fitness watch, treadmill, or track. Treadmills make walking a little easier. To simulate outdoor walking, set the treadmill at a 1% grade. If you're using a fitness watch, choose a flat route without bumps or busy traffic. Before starting the test, spend a few minutes on these range of motion exercises, brief stretching exercises, and light balance drills. One to two sets and 10 reps of these movements will help activate your walking muscles and get your circulation going before the walk. Hold on to support no more than you need to perform good quality exercise movements. After the test, we'll go over a complete routine of balance and strengthening designed to help with walking. During the walk, aim for your best safe pace, but avoid overstriding. This puts too much stress on your muscles and joints. The better approach is to use your natural stride length and take faster or more frequent steps. Here is the six minute walk chart scored by distance and miles per hour. Compare your score to the average walking speed for people who walk without canes ages 75 and 85. According to the Pittsburgh study, the faster your walking speed, the better your longevity. They found a significant difference in survival for every improvement of 0.2 miles per hour. A small improvement can make a meaningful difference wherever you land on the chart. If you're using a track, watch for these white lines, which allow you to gauge your distance. Each line, as shown, is 100 meters, and every lap is 400 meters. Pay attention to your watch so you stop right at the six minute mark, and notice your position on the track when you finish. The first and second markers represent the average pace for 90 plus and 85 year olds. If you make it to the second lap, here are the markers for 75 year olds, safe street crossing, and three miles per hour. The top score is 70 meters further. Here's the chart based on meters. The faster your walking pace, the more likely you'll keep an independent lifestyle for the future, and the less likely you are to fall or go to the hospital. The ratings reflect research on the usual walking pace in seniors, so you may want to compare your six minute speed with your typical walking pace. If your score was not where you'd like it to be, know that you're not stuck at a slow pace. Studies have found that a slow walking speed can be improved significantly within a few months by building your strength improving your balance reactions, and gradually spending more time on your feet exercising. These senior-friendly strengthening and balance exercises are a good, effective introduction to training. Perform 8 to 12 reps and 2 sets each for these standing leg raises using adjustable ankle weights. Try starting with 2 pounds and add a half pound at a time as the exercise gets easier. Hold on as needed for balance. Perform 2 sets of 12 to 20 reps for the heel raises and toe taps. Work on maximizing your range of motion. For the squats and lunges, hold on as needed for balance, adjust the range of motion to your level, and perform one set of eight to 12 reps. Cover 15 to 20 feet and three to four reps each for these dynamic balance exercises. Increase your distance, pace, and range of motion for the balance exercises as you improve. To get more practice time on your feet, Add a few minutes to your daily walk and spend more time on activities like these. Compare the intensity of these senior-friendly activities with walking speeds of two, three, and three and a half miles per hour. Exercise builds strength and fitness, whether you spread it throughout the day or do it all at once. To ensure progress, be active enough to challenge yourself consistently. Work toward 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. The average decline in physical ability is aggressive after age 65, and balance declines the fastest. 
So whether you're already fit or working on getting there, keep training yourself. Beginning at age 79, or 76 in the US, the average adult spends their last six years with some form of disability, relying on others for their daily needs. Fortunately, the only people who don't benefit from exercise are the ones who don't practice. This was the second video from episode five of our masterclass series, Fit for Your Life. We're covering tools for getting the health benefits you need from the lifestyle you enjoy. Please share in the comments below about your fitness goals for this year and check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them yet. In the meantime, subscribe to this channel. Then you won't miss any upcoming videos about health, exercise, and fitness. See you next time.